Okay, so we're uh, showing off the further work that we've been doing on the Raspberry Pi version Loon Pro 2. So now Larry has it uh, operating. So uh, the pressure transducer, which is right here, you can see right here. So this is the pressure transducer that we propose using on the new design. Uh, it's fully functional now, uh, being read by ADD converter, uh, going back to the Raspberry Pi being displayed on the board and all the conversions being done. So you're actually seeing a pressure coming out of here of uh, uh, the pump. So we have a manometer connected in, uh, in a T circuit with the, our pressure transducer so we can confirm the pressures are correct. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the pump. Uh, right now, if you press this button, it turns on an output here. We're gonna actually connect it to the pump, but I'm gonna do this manually. So typically you would hit this button and you get the pump turning on and you can hear the pump running now. Um, and you saw the pressure jump up and it's maintaining pressure just by virtue that's a maximum for the pump I'm going to clamp the line and remove power and you can see that they both match pretty darn close so there, it hasn't been calibrated and there's no calibration routine in here so it could be off by one or two uh, inches of mercury I think it's inches of mercury right? Or, yeah. Millimeters. Millimeters of mercury right so I'm going to bleed off a little bit more, let the pressure drop, and you can see they're tracking each other really well. Each are updating at a different frequency. So I'll let it fully go down, and now it's a zero pressure. So the other things we've done, which we've shown before, is the display output light. Uh, there's been some questions about how we do that. We haven't changed that at all, but we're open to any kind of change. Rocky had some suggestions, and maybe others in the group could come up with how they want the backlight to either come off or on uh, automatically, and then this turns it off. So we can discuss that further. And then uh, the menus are all fully functional now. It shows all the information for the runtime and free RAM, status of the CPU, things like that, whether it's connected to the Internet. Uh, and then setup menu, just like before, we have to enter a password in, hit enter, and then we have the set points we can set up. So Larry's working on the code now to actually regulate the pump in a sloppy type feedback loop, uh, which we should have done today. And then uh, next, that'll be kind of the next step to show and we'll go from there. Thank you.